Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. James 4 verse 10 Humble yourselves before the Lord, and He will lift you up. Philippians 2 verse 3 Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility value others above yourselves. Colossians 3 verse 12 Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Proverbs 11 verse 2 When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with humility comes wisdom. Proverbs 22 verse 4 Humility is the fear of the Lord. Its wages are riches and honor and life. Micah 6 verse 8 He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Matthew 18 verse 4 Therefore, Whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Psalm 25 verse 9 He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. Ephesians 4 verse 2 Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Zephaniah 2 verse 3 Seek the Lord, all you humble of the land, you who do what he commands. Seek righteousness, seek humility. Perhaps you will be sheltered on the day of the Lord's anger. 1 Peter 5 verse 6 Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Isaiah 66 verse 2 has not my hand made all these things, and so they came into being, declares the Lord. These are the ones I look on with favor, those who are humble and contrite in spirit, and who tremble at my word. Proverbs 15 verse 33 Wisdom's instruction is to fear the Lord, and humility comes before honor. Colossians 2 verses 18 to 19. Do not let anyone who delights in false humility and the worship of angels disqualify you. Such a person also goes into great detail about what they have seen. They are puffed up with idle notions by their unspiritual mind. They have lost connection with the head, from whom the whole body, supported and held together by its ligaments and sinews, grows as God causes it to grow. Proverbs 16 verse 19 Better to be lowly in spirit along with the oppressed than to share plunder with the proud. Romans 12 verse 3 For by the grace given me I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought but rather think of yourself with sober judgment, in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. Matthew 23 verse 12 For those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Psalm 149 verse 4 For the Lord takes delight in his people, 
He crowns the humble with victory. Psalm 37 verse 11 But the meek will inherit the land and enjoy peace and prosperity. Proverbs 3 verse 34 He mocks proud mockers but shows favor to the humble and oppressed. 1 Peter 3 verse 8 Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. James 3 verse 13 Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. Psalm 147 verse 6 the Lord sustains the humble but casts the wicked to the ground. Romans 12 verse 16 Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Proverbs 27 verse 2 Let someone else praise you, and not your own mouth an outsider, and not your own lips. Proverbs 18 verse 12 Before a downfall the heart is haughty, but humility comes before honor. 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Isaiah 57 verse 15 For this is what the High and Exalted One says he who lives forever, whose name is Holy. I live in a high and holy place, but also with the One who is contrite and lowly in spirit, to revive the spirit of the lowly and to revive the heart of the contrite. Matthew 5 verse 5 Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. 1 Corinthians 1 verses 28 to 29 God chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are, so that no one may boast before him. Philippians 2 verse 8 and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Psalm 34 verse 18 The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. 1 Timothy 6 verse 6 But godliness with contentment is great gain. 1 Peter 3 verses 3 to 4 Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. Luke 14 verse 11 For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Proverbs 16 verse 18 Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Matthew 20 verses 26 to 28 Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be your slave just as the Son of Man did not come to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 12 So, if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. 
Matthew 5 verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Galatians 6 verse 3. If anyone thinks they are something when they are not, they deceive themselves. Romans 12 verse 10. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Proverbs 11 verse 12. Whoever derides their neighbor has no sense, but the one who has understanding holds their tongue. Proverbs 25 verses 6 to 7. Do not exalt yourself in the king's presence, and do not claim a place among his great men. It is better for him to say to you, Come up here, than for him to humiliate you before his nobles. Luke 18 verse 14. I tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. 1 Corinthians 4 verse 7. For who makes you different from anyone else? What do you have that you did not receive? And if you did receive it, why do you boast as though you did not? Proverbs 25 verse 27. It is not good to eat too much honey, nor is it honorable to search out matters that are too deep. Matthew 11 verse 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Proverbs 21 verse 24. The proud and arrogant person mocker is his name behaves with insolent fury. Luke 9 verse 48. Then he said to them, Whoever welcomes this little child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. For it is the one who is least among you all who is the greatest. Proverbs 29 verse 23. Pride brings a person low, but the lowly in spirit gain honor. Philippians 2 verses 5 to 7. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4 Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. Matthew 23 verse 11 The greatest among you will be your servant. Proverbs 13 verse 10 Where there is strife, there is pride, but wisdom is found in those who take advice. Psalm 18 verse 27 You save the humble but bring low those whose eyes are haughty. Galatians 5 verse 26 Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. Proverbs 14 verse 21 It is a sin to despise one's neighbor, but blessed is the one who is kind to the needy. 1 Peter 5 verse 5 In the same way, you who are younger, submit yourselves to your elders. All of you, clothe yourselves with humility toward one another, because God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. Romans 15 verses 1 to 2 We who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Each of us should please our neighbors for their good, to build them up. Matthew 6 verses 1 to 2 Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven.
So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets, to be honored by others. Truly I tell you, they have their reward. Psalm 131 verse 1 My heart is not proud, Lord, my eyes are not haughty. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. Romans 11 verses 18 to 20 Do not consider yourself to be superior to those other branches. If you do consider this, you do not support the root, but the root supports you. You will say then, branches were broken off so that I could be grafted in. Granted, but they were broken off because of unbelief, and you stand by faith. Do not be arrogant, but tremble. Psalm 131 verse 2 But I have calmed and quieted myself. I am like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child I am content. Romans 12 verse 21 Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Proverbs 21 verse 4 Haughty eyes and a proud heart the unplowed field of the wicked produce sin. Proverbs 15 verse 25 The Lord tears down the house of the proud, but he sets the widow's boundary stones in place. Romans 2 verse 8 But for those who are self-seeking and who reject the truth and follow evil, there will be wrath and anger. Psalm 138 verse 6 Though the Lord is exalted, he looks kindly on the lowly. Though lofty, he sees them from afar. Romans 11 verse 20 Granted, but they were broken off because of unbelief, and you stand by faith. Do not be arrogant, but tremble. James 1 verse 21 Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent, and humbly accept the word planted in you, which can save you. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 18 Do not deceive yourselves. If any of you think you are wise by the standards of this age, you should become fools so that you may become wise. Psalm 10 verse 17 you, Lord, hear the desire of the afflicted. You encourage them, and you listen to their cry. Proverbs 16, verse 5. The Lord detests all the proud of heart. Be sure of this, they will not go unpunished.